Hey guys, my name is Carlos Mendez and I'm an artist using SOLIDWORKS Visualize today in quick tips using the opacity slider. So what's this opacity slider about? Well, it's a slider that's found at the model group or part level that controls the general transparency of the mesh. So if we go here on our example, we're using a drone. And uh, if we, let's say, click on the model section, you'll notice that there's an opacity slider. The reason why this feature is awesome is because it allows you to reveal what's behind the model. So if you have a lot of complexity uh, that's underneath the model, it allows you to tell you a better story uh, to your audience. So if you click on the, um, on the model level here, you'll see that you have this opacity slider. By default, it's set to 1.0. You'll notice that the group, um, at the group level, you'll have it as well, as well as the part level. So I'll show you how to do this. And then um, another great thing about this is that you can also animate it. So I'll show you how to animate it and then make a video. Um, it, again, this feature of SOLIDWORKS Visualize is available both in the standard Visualize as well as in the professional Visualize. Uh, the difference is that in the Pro, uh, it allows you to animate it. So right now we're using the Pro, so I will show you that feature when you animate it. So let's get started here. We have a drone. Uh, if you remove some of these components, you can see that the drone has quite a bit of detail underneath. There's printed circuit boards. Actually, let me hide some of these groups <clears throat> so you can see them better. Switch to the group selection method. More stuff underneath. So you can see how there's a lot of stuff underneath. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to create an animation of the opacity uh, hiding progressively. I want to undo all these by pressing Control Z. There you go. We're back to where we started. All right, great. So for this, I am going to um, first open up my timeline by pressing Control and L. And you'll see at the bottom here you have a timeline that pops up. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select which ones uh, I want the opacity to uh, to change. So I'm going to do that by clicking, changing to the group section. In this case, the way this file is organized is under groups. So I'm going to go to group selection. I'm going to click that. I'm going to hold control. Click this one as well as, uh, no, let's see, this one right here in the front. So I have three parts. Next thing I'm going to do in the model set section here, I'm going to, oops, I clicked on the wrong thing. Again, I'm going to hold control, uh, right click. I'm going to say animation, add keyframe. And you'll notice you have three, three keyframes, three, uh, three animations that are, that are set. Next thing I'm going to do is I am going to, now the keyframe that was just added was set at full opacity. So all of them have opacity 1.0 at this moment. I'm going to advance it to, let's say to, let's to the second second mark here and I'm going to drag this down and you'll see how things become transparent I'm going to drag it down to zero now um, now you'll have the beginning of the animation where it's fully uh, opaque and then the interpolation that occurs between full opaqueness and full transparency so now to make this a little bit more interesting I'm also going to add a camera a camera flight that's going to go from here to maybe around here and zoom in a little bit. So for that, I set up a different camera already. I called it NM camera so I can tell the difference. And I'm going to, I'm already in that camera, so I don't have to double click or anything. I'm going to set my start position, right click on the camera, add keyframe. I'm going to move to where I want to go. Let's say I want the animation of the camera to stop at the three second mark, perhaps. And I will now move. You notice that as soon as I move, that second keyframe is generated. I get a little closer there. All right, maybe around there somewhere. All right, so now if I scrub back, you see how both animations are happening. All right, now I'm going to move the animation, the original um, opacity animation, a little forward because I want to be able to see it a little bit better. In fact, let me move the camera animation up until the second the fourth second here, and I'm going to slide this so it starts around second one. So you, the camera movement is going to occur first. When the camera gets going, the opacity will change. 
then the opacity will reach zero and the camera will continue. All right, and you can preview that by pressing play. It's awesome. Perfect, this is exactly what I want. So I'm gonna stop that. Now all we have to do is go to output tools. We're gonna make sure we switch the to the animation tab. Set up your settings. Um, in this case is 120 frames. Uh, if the animation was say five seconds, it would be to uh, at 30 frames per second, it would be to frame 150. So pick the type of movie format. I will pick flash video and uh, make sure that create movies ticked. If it's not, you can also have it just render a sequence of JPEGs or TIFFs, depending on what you want to output. If, and then you can later composite it in something like After Effects. I'm going to leave this create movie on. Render options. This is very much like rendering a still. You just want to make sure you tell it what resolution you want it to render. And I will be rendering it accurate at around 300 passes because I don't want to spend too much time rendering. Um, no, that's something to keep in mind. Just like when you're generating, um, you know, any any large series of, of renders, you need to make sure that you um, you want to make sure you render it first at a, a at a smaller size, uh, maybe at a lower frames per second, and at a low number of passes because it takes such a long time to render an animation that you don't want to just waste hours or even a day uh, without uh, first seeing what it is that you want to have. So I recommend always going low settings first. All right, I already rendered this out, so you would press start animation, but I already rendered that out. So I'm gonna close and I will show you what I have. Uh, let's see, this is a series of, of renders that I got here. Um, and this is the result. Let's double click on that. Let's see what we have here. Oh, we already have it here. And there you go. You can be a little bit bigger so you could see it. And let me turn off the loop. So press play, you can see it hides. You can see all the interior components helping you tell a better story. Again, it loops and that's it. All right, guys, I hope you guys found this helpful and um, I'll talk to you guys soon.